who are you playing in the film and how do they fit in? I play a character called William Winthrop, who is a child psychologist married to Abby Cornish's character, Wally. And uh, basically through uh, our unhappy marriage, she becomes obsessed with the, the great romance of Edward and Wallace. It's set in two time periods and it's set in reality and in the abstract in the sense that the history is close to reality and then there is a completely fictional story set in the future and the two periods and this is where the abstract comes in, intertwine. Do you get starstruck when you meet Madonna? I guess you must do. Yeah. It's hard not to, you know, you've got that moment of it's Madonna, yeah. but you know, sort of 30 seconds in, she's so focused, she's so committed to the film, you sort of forget it and you realise that it's a director talking to an actor. So there's the, in, there's the initial thing of, oh my God, she's standing in front of you, and then it goes away very, very quickly. Cause, and you know, in the other way, thank God, because otherwise I don't think I could have done it. I, I, I have immense respect for the way she directed this film because she was, very particular, very driven, and uh, very true to her own vision. And I think it's, you know, I have a lot of respect for that. Is she a perfectionist? I guess in a music career she has been. I think you have to be to be as successful as she is. And I think you have to be to be a director. I've never met a director who wasn't perfectionist. So she's no different than anybody else I've ever worked with. It's always incredible working with every different director because they bring so much of who they are as a, as a person to the, their directing style, as, as actors do. Um, because we are our own tools. There's a lot of sort of films about royalties. Like obviously, King's Speech had Wallace in the Queen was before that, and this. So, why do you think Hollywood and filmmakers keep returning to the royal family? I think it's partly that we have a fascination with we have a fascination with the royal family, but I think we also have a fascination with uh, love stories behind closed doors. And I think uh, the, the, the history of the royals in this country is full of these uh, intrigues and machinations and fabulous love stories. What do you enjoy most about making the film as well and what was the sort of biggest challenge? I learned how to dance. Oh really? I don't know how to dance but Madonna taught me. Well not Madonna herself <laughs> but you know, I learned because of Madonna so I think I, think I can take that one to my grave. Yeah. Is that quite challenging how oh, you yeah. dance in real life? Are you uh, the only good? Well, exactly, the first time I ever have to dance is on film for Madonna, backwards and in heels. Ginger Rogers said it best. Yeah. That wasn't in the audition was it? Not so much. <laughs> that was kind of sprung upon me. I was like okay whoops. <laughs>